littered with white powder and tin foil. This was said to be the scene inside Liam Payne's hotel room after the singer fell to his death in Buenos Aires last night. Payne was found dead by police who say they found the pop star's medicines, including clonazepam, a drug which is used to control epilepsy, involuntary muscle spasms, and panic disorders. The photos were published across the Argentinian media, including major broadsheets today and purport to show Payne's suite at the Casa Sur Hotel in Palermo. There was a frantic call to 911 from hotel staff about an aggressive man who could be under the influence of drugs or alcohol, who was smashing up his room minutes before he died. These photos inside the luxury suite, published by Argentinian magazine Claren, appeared to confirm the troubling report about Payne's mental state. On a table, the surface was covered with tin foil, white powder, a lighter and scorch marks on the wooden surface. A blackened aluminum drinks can lid appeared to have been heated and a smashed TV screen on a shelf bore the signs of a heavy impact, whilst a half-empty champagne flute was nearby. Police later confirmed that after a search of the pop star's room, medicines like clonazepam were found, a drug which is used to control epilepsy, involuntary muscle spasms, and panic disorders. More candle and aluminum foil remains were found in the bathtub of Payne's suite, the bottom of which was stained and had some burns. In a tape of the 911 call from the hotel manager to police, he could be heard saying, I'm calling from the Casa Sur Hotel in Palermo. We have a guest who is over the top with drugs and is breaking up the entire room. We need someone to come. The call then cuts off and on a second call, the manager adds, when he is conscious, he is breaking up the room. We need you to send someone, please. The emergency operator then asks the manager, under the influence of alcohol and narcotics, the manager's response made his fears all too plain. We need someone to be sent to us urgently because I don't know if the guest's life is at risk. The room has a balcony and we are afraid that they might do something. Seconds later, it appeared it was too late to prevent the tragedy as the manager said with emotion in his voice, send only same, only same, the city's emergency paramedic service. Payne had arrived in South America with his girlfriend Kate Cassidy on September 30th staying in Argentina for two weeks after only planning to spend five days there. During their extended trip, Payne was reunited with Niall Horan after going to watch his former bandmate perform at the Movistar Arena, Buenos Aires, on October 2nd. On October 12th, Ms. Cassidy, 25, returned home to Florida after saying, I just need to go home, in a TikTok video, with Payne staying behind and checking into the 230 pounds a night Casa Sur Hotel alone. Just 48 hours before his death, on October 14th, it emerged that Payne's ex fiancee Miss Mia Henry, had started legal proceedings against Payne, accusing him of obsessively contact and weaponizing his fans against her. Two days later, Payne posted several social media videos, including one where he jokingly called his girlfriend a loser for going home. Hours later, police were called to the hotel following reports of an aggressive man who could be under the influence of drugs or alcohol. The new photo broadcast on local network America TV appears to show Payne wearing a white sleeveless top with his tattoos visible. A presenter said it was the last time the former One Direction singer was seen alive before he got in a lift to his room. As the news of the singer's death began to filter out, fans began to arrive at the door of the Palermo Hotel and held a candlelit vigil outside and a collection of flowers and messages began to build up. His body was transferred to the judicial morgue to be examined. Liam's family have said they are heartbroken by his death aged 31, adding that the former One Direction star will forever live in our hearts. A family statement said, We are heartbroken. Liam will forever live in our hearts and we'll remember him for his kind, funny, and brave soul. We are supporting each other the best we can as a family and ask for privacy and space at this awful time. Payne's uncle Roger Harris also told Mail Online this afternoon, we are all just deeply saddened and trying to come to terms with it. I just hope everybody gives them some privacy, really, and allows them to come to terms with it. That's all I can say. The singer, who had been posing with fans in Buenos Aires in the hours before his death, suffered a fractured skull after falling from the third floor of Casa Sur Palmero Hotel in Argentina's capital shortly after 5 p.m. local time, 9 p.m. UK time, speaking at Payne's family home in Wolverhampton, the city where he was born and grew up, told Mail Online, we are utterly devastated by the news. Payne was raised in Wolverhampton by his mother Karen, a nurse, and father Jeff, a fitter. 
Early this morning, his older sisters, Nicola and Ruth, arrived at the house. Nine weeks ago, Jeff posted a sweet image of his son and his dog as he penned in the caption, like if you love my son, a post which has since been flooded with messages of condolence for their family. Neighbors said Payne's parents left their 600,000 pound four bedroom detached house last night at around midnight, while Nicola and Ruth were seen entering the property at 9 a.m. this morning. Last night, thousands of fans gathered outside the hotel, while emergency services worked at the scene around a central red tent at the location the star fell. Some lit candles, some sang One Direction songs, and others held each sobbing as they paused to remember Mr. Payne, who was one-fifth of the most successful boy band of the 2010s. In order to control the crowd, Argentinian police were forced to form a line in front of the hotel to stop distraught local fans getting too close to the scene. There has been an outpouring of tributes online, with fellow former X Factor contestants Jed Wad writing, R.I.P. Liam Payne, condolences to his friends and family. They added, sending strength to Cheryl and his son Bear, and all the One Direction family. X X Factor contestant and TV personality Rylan Clark said, extremely sad news, very tragic and so young. Rip Liam X singer Ollie Murs who starred on The X Factor the year before One Direction, said he was lost for words, describing Payne's death as devastating on Instagram. We always had a good laugh when we saw each other. Sometimes the catch-ups were only short and sweet, but when we did, it was mostly about how annoyingly good his hair always looked, or our love for Bex, the old X Factor days, and the tour we shared together, Mers wrote beside a picture of the pair. Liam shared the same passions as me, the same dreams, so to see his life now end so young hits hard. I'm truly gutted and devastated for his family. And of course, his son Bear, losing a dad. Harry Styles' mother, Ann Twist, posted a broken-hearted emoji on Instagram, captioning it, just a boy. Fellow former contestant Katie Waisel wrote, my heart is completely torn to shreds right now. I am at an absolute loss for words. Former X Factor presenter Dermot O'Leary described shock reports of Liam Payne's death as the worst news. He said, I remember him as a 14-year-old turning up to audition on The X Factor and blowing us away singing Sinatra. He just loved to sing. He was always a joy, had time for everyone, polite, grateful, and was always humble. Sending love and prayers to his family. DX Paris Hilton wrote, so upsetting to hear the news of Liam Payne passing, sending love and condolences to his family and loved ones. Rep, my friend. Singer Charlie Puth has shared a series of photos and videos to his Instagram as he paid tribute to the late One Direction star. The 32-year-old light switch hitmaker posted a sweet photograph of the pair, each pointing to the other and with their arms around one another. He wrote to his 18.4 million followers, I am in shock right now. Liam was always so kind to me. He was one of the first major artists I got to work with. I cannot believe he is gone. Singer Max George has revealed he is devastated at the news of Liam Payne's death. The Wanted 2.0 star wrote on X, Liam was unbelievably supportive during one of the most difficult times in my life. Local police have since launched into the 31-year-old's sudden death as tributes flood in in the wake of the tragedy. A police statement from local police said they arrived to the hotel after they were informed of an aggressive man who may have been under the effects of drugs and alcohol. City Ambulance Service Provider Spokesman Alberto Crescenti said Mr. Payne had fallen around 40 meters and suffered severe injuries which were incompatible with life. He said, the alarm was raised at 5.04 p.m. local time, saying a person was lying in an internal patio at Casa Sur. At 5.11 p.m., an ambulance arrived and the man was certified dead. Afterwards, we found out he had been a famous singer. Unfortunately, the injuries he had suffered as a result of the fall proved to be fatal there was no possibility of resuscitating him. The star's final Snapchat post showed him happily posing with his partner, Kate Cassidy, as they looked into a mirror, a picture which was originally taken last August. Further posts from the final moments of the star's life showed him enjoying lunch in his hotel room, where he revealed the pair had been waking up at 1 p.m. every day and deciding on Forrest Gump as a Halloween costume. A further tragic selfie was captioned, lovely day in Argentina.